Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at iOS 4.2 on the iPad. This episode specifically, we're going to install iOS 4.2 onto the iPad. Now, if you got your iPad a while back, chances are it comes with a variant of iOS 3 on it. That's what was on the iPad when it shipped to stores. Now, what you'll have to do is you'll have to upgrade the firmware to version 4.2. That's the newest version of it that's out there. It allowed a bunch of features, including multitasking, the ability to put folders, and a few other things like AirPlay and AirPrint. We'll show you how to do those other things in upcoming episodes of the series. But for now, we're going to actually put 4.2 onto the iPad. So the first thing you want to do is open up iTunes on your computer. Then you'll connect your iPad to the computer using the USB connector cable that comes with the iPad. When you connect the iPad, it may open up associated apps like the camera transfer utility or iPhoto. You can close those. When you plug in the iPad, iTunes may ask you automatically if you want to update to 4.2. Say no to start with, because we have something else we want to do first here. If you purchase any content directly on the iPad, you'll probably want to transfer it over and put it into your library. Look in the bar on the left, find the iPad, right-click it, and choose Transfer Purchases. That'll transfer anything you've bought on the iPad back into your iTunes library. Then, on the right-hand side of the screen now, choose Update. It may also ask you if you want to back up your iPad settings. This is probably something you do want to do because that way, when you upgrade it, all the preferences that you chose beforehand for your apps and uh, for the iPad itself will still be in effect. Click back up and it'll start the process of backing up your iPad. This could take a while. Once the update is downloaded from the Apple servers, it'll automatically start the install process. iTunes will say, preparing the iPad. Then the iPad will reset and a progress bar will appear on the iPad screen. Again, it'll take a while as it copies the new firmware over to the iPad and then verifies it to make sure that it copied over correctly. Following the update, the iPad will reset again. When the iPad starts again, your photo software may launch again. You can feel free to close it again. Then iTunes will resync your iPad so all of the applications, preferences, and all the other settings that you saved during the backup will go back onto the iPad. This way it should be in roughly the same condition that it was before you updated it, but now it'll have iOS 4.2 on board. You should be able to use multitasking and all the other new features. We'll show you how to use those in upcoming episodes of this series. Don't forget to check out the other parts in this series at butterscotch.com. You can also go to butterscotch.com to check out the show notes for this and all the other parts in the series.